What does it mean to have a positive or a negative COVID test? Yeah, there are true positives and true negatives, false positives and false negatives. It's a little confusing. So Dr. Zorba Pastor joins us now <laughs> from home. Hi Zorba, to explain what this all means and we're gonna be taking your calls in just a little while too. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. So let me try to put this into perspective. It takes a little bit of thought. So let me give an example of a true positive. Here it is, you have a nosebleed and you're just gushing out blood, you lose a pint of blood, go into your doctor, we do a blood test and lo and behold, you find, we find you're anemic. That's a true positive, okay? That's a true positive. So let's give an example of a false positive and a false negative. A woman gets a mammogram and the mammogram shows there's a spot. Okay, that might be a real positive, it might be a false positive. So what does the radiologist do? They say, we're gonna do further testing, maybe an MRI test, maybe an ultrasound, or maybe a biopsy. The biopsy is more specific, that gives us the answer. So you've got true positives, true negatives, false positive, false negatives. Now let's look at COVID testing. In an environment like New York City, we got lots of COVID around. You're much more likely, if the test is positive, to have it be a real positive. Why? There are lots of people with COVID. But remember, the COVID test is not perfect. Maybe 10% of the time, it says you have COVID, but you never had COVID. So in an environment where you have very, very little COVID, let's say Northern Wisconsin, the false positives outnumber the true positives. So in other words, somebody comes in and they go, hey, I had a COVID test and it's really there, but then there's very little COVID in the community. It may not be there. It may be a false test. And so it produces a big problem in the fact that we've got to continue to do testing, but the test does not give the whole answer. Now, here's the whole wrinkle in the whole thing. We don't know if you have antibodies to COVID if that protects you from COVID. We just don't know that. We know antibodies to measles will protect you from measles. Antibodies to, for other diseases will protect you, but we don't know what that means for COVID because this is science and evolution. So the question is, even if you get a test, if it's positive or negative, it's not 100% reliable. It's only an approximate. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is. All right. All right we're going to take a quick break. Time to call in now to talk to Zorba. 270-9933 is the number. Get your calls right after the break.